But let's say you're using some ex obscure old mod and it's not in this. So I'm going to show you how to modify this engine mod to make it work with your truck. That's probably the easiest thing to do. That's what I did with that. Well, that's what I would have done with that Freightliner, except that this sound mod actually already supports it. <laughs> so what you're going to do is you're going to view the mod on the Steam Workshop, which if you don't already have the mod, you'll already be doing. And it's going to open it in Chrome, but I actually want to open it in Steam. I don't think it'll matter. So this is the mod. Um, yeah, I need to open in Steam. Hold on a second. All right, here we go. So I got it on Steam. Now, the reason you want it on Steam is because you need to be able to look at the source code, which if you right-click on Steam, it'll bring up that little drop-down, and then it'll open it up in Notepad. So what we're looking for is, and I can't tell you exactly how to find it, but what you want is the file ID code. Okay, here. So if you look up, if you put in the find bar, publish file ID, this is the number you want. So you just copy that string, and then go into your file explorer, and go into wherever you have Steam installed. For me, it's on my F drive. Actually, I'm wrong. I specifically have ATS installed on C, because I wanted to see if I made the game run faster, which I think it actually did. So go to wherever you have Steam installed. I have ATS installed on the C drive. So, Steam, Steam Apps, Common, American Truck Simulator. No, sorry. Steam Apps, Workshop, Content, and ATS is going to be 270880. That number stays the same. I don't remember what ETS2 is. <laughs> and then you're going to click in the box. Going to paste that in there. And it'll bring up the mod you're looking for. Uh, 